because the stream depends on uh, uh, the quality of your internet connection. So um, this is the last game of the day. Oh! I hope this uh, Molde player didn't hurt himself when he fell on the floor. He did. No, he didn't. Okay. Um, thanks a lot uh, to uh, my co-commentators Lorena and uh, Jörg. Um, and uh, big, big thanks. Uh, I think I can express uh, from everybody to Vinne who made this uh, Champions Cup uh, real and who made it real for the, forget how much, 16th time here in Berlin. It's an uh, uh, underwater rugby family event. Um, and we try to keep it like that with a lot of the decisions uh, for the coming changes. We'll implement it, coordinate it, and uh, in the, with the voice of the community. Because it's a community event, and uh, that's how it should be, because underwater rugby crew in the community, and uh, that's the base of uh, the power base of our sport. Um, that's just great. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the people watching the live stream. And uh, we're getting close, um, getting close to the last game, which is uh, the final, men's final. Uh, Molde from uh, Norway in blue against Bamberg in white. And uh, I think uh, we talked about it. It's the fourth time for Bamberg in the finals in the Champions Cup. Uh, they didn't win yet, and it's their big chance and I uh, think they have uh, big hopes and uh, um, they are able here to score and to win but uh, it will be difficult against Molde uh, who I, I haven't counted, uh, yeah. forgot okay. how many and times they did win the Champions Cup. So we have Molde, the dominating team of the last years and also the dominating team in the uh, Euro League. Euro League and as uh, so also in the, as a national team and we have the uh, record champion uh, uh, Germany and I guess uh, it is uh, also two you will see two systems of uh, energy in the uh, in the water and uh, it's it's now the proving time if Molde will maintain their leadership in this uh, sport or a new system can really open the chances to win. So uh, please uh, uh, check out our Facebook site. Uh, we have pictures uh, uh, there from uh, the pool atmosphere and around the pool. Uh, go to the Facebook site. It's uh, facebook.com uh, uh, slash uh, champions cup and uh, well, support the community. In the future, we try to do new things with the Champions Cup, and you will have a say in it. And uh, uh, I have uh, implemented a Facebook website uh, for uh, uh, the uh, live stream on the Water Commentator uh, Academy, which I will uh, put online uh, the next days. And we will have a YouTube channel. Yeah, me and Jörg will have a YouTube channel. That it will be secret in the beginning. Um, we will try it out. We will find really something funny. Like that? But yeah, something. <laughs> 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 okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last game here in Champions Cup 2016. Uh, the biggest uh, underwater tournament in the world. Uh, internationally, we have 14 different teams. And uh, we have altogether 24 teams, 14 men, 10 women teams from three different countries. And this is Bamberg from Germany in white and Molde from Norway in blue. And these are the finals of the men. And this is the chance for Bamberg uh, to finally get to the top of the Champions Cup and win this uh, tournament. But uh, I think uh, Molde will have a saying in it. Here we go. Start of the last game, the finals of Champions Cup 2016. And uh, Bamberg is in ball possession going. Uh, I don't see where they are going. I think they try to go for the Molde basket. And Bamberg still in ball possession. But the forechecking of Molde is quite heavy. But uh, we know uh, Bamberg is known for its forechecking, especially in the middle field. They have uh, the best players here uh, in Germany, many of them are in the German national team, 
So uh, let's see what they can do. And there's a free uh, player, which is unusual and not on an attack from Molde. But uh, here we go, four checking from Molde is starting again. And uh, this is uh, uh, quite a good play here from Bamberg right now. They uh, put uh, Molde in, uh, in the defense and uh, are holding on to the ball. And uh, Molde didn't succeed, even though they are four checking hard to uh, get hold of the ball. And um, Bamberg is controlling the ball and is going for the basket of Molde and attacking now from the close side. There's already one uh, Bamberg player on the usual open side waiting for the pass, going to him on the open side, but he's waiting, waiting, waiting. And uh, Molde is intercepting the play and uh, has the ball and is now going for a fast uh, counter attack, stopped by two Bamberg players. And uh, very well good for checking here from Bamberg. And they recover the ball in the middle field. Uh, I'm impressed by the work of Bamberg. Uh, they don't uh, give uh, Bam uh, Molde a chance. Uh, the question is how long can stand uh, the, the Molde play. And we know Molde is waiting for the uh, moment they can counter attack and then attack with uh, two, three, four players in a heavy avalanche against the uh, um, Bamberg uh, uh, basket. So Bamberg is still in ball control and we are uh, two minutes in the first half here of this Champions Cup 2016. Uh, Molde against Bamberg. And Bamberg is controlling the ball now for over two minutes and uh, had already a good chance to attack the Molde basket. So uh, um, let's see if Molde is just uh, doing their usual game, waiting for their chance to uh, counter-attack and then start their game because right now they are not really in danger. They are just waiting. They saw how the forechecking of Bamberg uh, is working quite fine. They cannot intercept it, so they just wait right now for their chance. Uh, wait until Bamberg gets close enough to get hold of the ball and start the counter-attack, which will be devastating as far as we've seen in this tournament in the last years. But Bamberg is doing a good job uh, opening up space and and now they are trying to get in from uh, the closed side. Um, they change around. Here we have an attack on the open side. And this is a nice pass uh, down to the, uh, to the Bamberg player waiting under the basket. And now Molde is in ball possession. And they try to fight their way through. But they stopped by the heavy forging. Mm, and this was pass. a great pass around the Bamberg player uh, behind his back. But uh, the forechecking, like I said, of Bamberg is uh, formidable. And here we had a pass to the player from a Molde uh, under the Bamberg basket, but it was intercepted by Bamberg. Quite well done. And we have Bamberg again in attack mode. So they go for the Molde basket. This is impressive work from Bamberg. Uh, the really question fast is game. really yep. fast game, really well done from Bamberg. Um, wow, great pass. And uh, this was a cross from Hannes, pass from uh, Hannes Hoffmann. Down there, they are playing fast. They are uh, very uh, present under the water, on the bottom of the pool. Um, but uh, this is exhausting what Bamberg is doing. And uh, Molde is not under pressure, really under pressure. The forechecking is uh, doing their good work, keeping uh, Bamberg uh, far enough away from the basket. So there's no danger of them for scoring. Um, I wonder how long Bamberg can stand this uh, high-speed uh, play because they have to um, force a decision and go into the defense of Molde. And this is where the danger waits because uh, if Molde is getting hold of the ball and they can do the counter-attack, it will be uh, almost uh, impossible for uh, Bamberg uh, to stand uh, against a longer uh, pressure against their basket. But right now they're doing a very good job uh, not being uh, in this danger. And uh, the question again is uh, the solution. They're not able to attack here because uh, the forechecking of uh, Molde is keeping them away from the basket of Molde. And uh, Molde is just waiting. And uh, they have the condition and the fitness to withstand this uh, for a long time. Now we have an attack from Bamberg. Molde recovered the ball and uh, is trying, Molde players trying to get rid of the grip of two Bamberg players who uh, fix him. And uh, Bamberg uh, almost got the ball loose from the Molde player, which is not an easy task. And uh, um, yeah, I'm really we're five uh, minutes in the first half, and this was it's exhausting. It's, it's great. I mean, how Bamberg is, is, is keeping on the half of Molde. 
Um, and um, I mean, Molde defending is amazing. And, and, and Bambri is taking the time and deciding when to enter because they know if they enter with the ball, Molde is so good and recovering the ball uh, at the defender line. So they need to make a, a clever um, uh, attack. And now, well, they lost the ball and they're in their basket. Let's see. Here if we go. Molde is in attack mode. We are at the Bamberg basket on the open side already. We have a Molde player waiting, and he's attacking now. And there's the goal. goal. That's 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 the that's the danger of of, of Molde. I mean, once you're the, if they're next to the goalkeeper and yes. they get the ball, it's a score. It's a score. I mean, uh, I don't know how Orca succeeded it's yesterday. It's always a déjà vu. Now it's number seven. Uh, how's the name from this? Uh, is, uh, let me see, I have it here. Uh, Ivor, Ivor, uh, yeah. Yeah, Ivor is a scoring it's machine. It's the worst, the worst nightmare of Bamberg. <laughs> no, it's the worst team. nightmare for every man team. And, and yes. When and I see him, I stand beside him, I feel... Uh, intimidated. Really <laughs> small. <laughs> well, he just became a, a father two weeks ago, we heard yesterday. So congratulations to him. Uh, and... Uh, being here now, yeah. uh, even though he became father two weeks ago, is quite something. It's not easy to leave your family at home when you just have a child. So this is something he did for his team in this Champion Cup here. And uh, I'm sure they need him against Bamberg because Bamberg will not uh, uh, stand still and wait for another uh, score of uh, Molde. So they will raise the pressure on the goal. And we have uh, almost uh, or more than four than 500 uh, visitors watching the live stream here in the finals of Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. And uh, Molde wow. is doing a really what the passes what there. What a pass. Well, it's from straight and you don't out, even out of nowhere. Out of without nowhere. a push just by turning around That's the arm. You know what I like on uh, Ivo? He's wearing number seven. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm uh, feeling for it's, Bamba. It's, Come it's on, guys. Yeah, it's, uh, <sighs> it's, it's really hard uh, um, for Bamba. And, and I said this, they started with a high-speed game. Um, but uh, the difficulty against Molde is always the counter-attack. And oh, if they put oh. pressure on the... Oh, this was holding without a uh, ball. And uh, it's a free throw against Bamba. And uh, it's a hard start because they, they really went in well in this game. Uh, they they uh, established uh, their fast playing and tried to uh, uh, force a gap in the defense. Yeah. But the counterattack of uh, Molde are, uh, are brutal, uh, brutal uh, in, a, in a player sense, not in a physical sense. But uh, they... they know very well how to play fast and they execute their uh, their scoring capabilities remorselessly so uh, Bamberg has to get uh, free from their own basket and establish their game uh, from the middle and they have to swim they have to uh, uh, have a fast pass game otherwise uh, they will be worn out on their own uh, goal and if uh, uh, Molde succeeds in uh, uh, being between uh, the defenders and the goalie we will uh, see a repetition of what we've seen uh, some minutes ago and uh, Molde is, is too able to score in a game like this uh, the, 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 the movement rush. Here's another attack and Bamberg succeeded uh, in uh, stealing the ball out uh, from uh, the, the passing of Molde, but they are uh, uh, tackled in the middle of the pool and uh, still in the half uh, of uh, Bamberg. And Bamberg is having a, a really uh, hard job getting off out of uh, their own playing area. This is area. The, the fourth time that Bamberg is in the final against Molde. And this 1-0 is like a bad deja vu for Bamberg. So uh, still five minutes to go from the first half and we have another uh, time of 15 minutes. Um, so still everything is open and possible. I just hope that it doesn't get on the he in the heads uh, of the Bamberg players, you know, that they get motivated or frustrated because, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's all over again what they had already three, uh, three other times. So hopefully they can keep a, a cool head and they can uh, do the game. Um, they already had a, a good couple of minutes uh, attacking on the basket of, of Molde. But right now Molde is dominating. It's a bit uh, had more definition in the attack and the keeping of the ball and passing. They're a little bit better right now. Um, so let's see um, how it develops.
Now, uh, the goalkeeper of Amherst just got that pass that was meant to get a Molde player, and it's another goal. This is the problem with Molde. I mean, they're so risky. When they touch the goalkeeper, then the ball is inside. I mean, they're, I don't know. I don't want to I have no idea about the statistic, if, how it's the percentage uh, of a scoring when they get to the, the goalkeeper, but it's quite high, and 2-0 for Molde. And this uh, well, this is uh, the game is not uh, uh, working according. I'm quite sure working according to the plans of Bamberg. Um, uh, two goals in the in the first uh, 12 minutes of the first half is uh, uh, is destroying your moral motivation. And if they, I mean, they lost already three times in the final against Molde. So uh, you know you have this 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 phantom of this 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 um, yeah but what happened in the past is doesn't matter but they play an excellent game forward the problem is when mold is really close to the goal they are so dangerous exactly and, and that is uh, what is really the outstanding performance but, but they have. Don't let them go too close to the, your goal. I think uh, that was the plan of Bamberg in the beginning. They kept them uh, at bay on their own basket. But uh, we know the counterattacks from Molde are remorseless. And their, their passes we've seen are just uh, uh, like magic uh, throwing from Harry Potter. Um, it's just like they... they they uh, will the ball around their opponents uh, in the hands of their own teammates, and it's so fast and it's uh, so controlled. So uh, even the forechecking of uh, Bamberg uh, is not able to stop uh, the counterattacks from Molde in the middle field. And if they, uh, when they reached uh, the basket of uh, Bamberg, it uh, was. I mean, Bamberg have been playing since 2007 the Champions Cup. And uh, they um, made it. I mean, they started in the fifth place, and then even between the always between the second and the third place uh, last year, they were um, also third after Molde and Orcas. And this game is not over. The, the, let's let's uh, let's be clear. Uh, no, no, no. I we know, have uh, we have a second half. The first half is almost over. Two minutes left. The, in the problem first half. is at, at this level, it's it's difficult to recover from a 2-0 because yeah. there's so little gap in between the skills of the teams that these have been two mistakes and uh, it's, it's not that you just they cannot cross with a, with a counter-attack and score. I mean, it has to work hard to yeah, force a score. Absolutely. Uh, Best uh, for Bamberg now would be to score uh, at least one goal in this uh, in this first half, to see it is able to score against Bamberg and uh, then be able to uh, reproduce what they've done in the first half, uh, in the second half. But it's uh, super difficult. Look how fast this player is going for the counter attack. He's stealing away uh, the defense of uh, Bamberg. It's like He's a torpedo. It's like, really <laughs> like a torpedo going <laughs> through the, the pool. Uh, it's it's so agile, it's so fast, and he already uh, forced uh, the the, the uh, goalie from Bamberg down in defending position. It's incredible um, how they can switch from uh, defense within a, a, a referee decision into the attacking mode, and it puts a high pressure on the Bamberg basket. 40 seconds left here in this first half of the last game of uh, uh, Champions Cup Berlin. And uh, free throw against Molde. So 30 seconds left, and uh, oh, Bamberg, I feel you. Yeah, God, we were, we were, it breaks my heart to, to, to see how they struggled, and in the f in the first uh, uh, in the first quarter of the first half, and uh, uh, how well they controlled the game, and then came the breakthrough from Molde, which was. Uh, like I said, they just waited for the chance, for the moment, keeping it cool. And then there was this, the opening, they got the ball, and they pushed through and put pressure on Bamberg. Yeah, at the end of the first on half. The basket of Bamberg. There's still 15 minutes to go. And let's see, you know, if in these three minutes um, uh, Bamberg can, you know, get a bit of a 
cool head and regroup and see if they can start doing their game. Because in the first five minutes, uh, or in the middle more or less uh, of the game, of the first half, they were uh, and for a while in possession of the ball and were trying to build up uh, an attack in waves. Um, but after that moment, then Molde recovered the ball and... Uh Thank you very much uh, from uh, Orendor, uh, uh, who uh, thanks us for our work. Um, we have uh, Christian Schäfer in the live chat who said game is over, well, let's see. And uh, Clix is telling us it's what Molde does, they play into the void and there has to be a player. Well, Clix, it doesn't look like there's a void because there's always a Molde player, so even though they just throw the ball somewhere, it's uh, <laughs> always somewhere where a Molde player is. So, uh, well, very well done by Molde. And, uh, uh, Bamberg really has to think about what they should do th if they can start the second half as they did the first half and control the space around uh, the molded basket and organize their attack. Uh, they could have humans, but uh, I haven't seen them doing really, at least in the Champions Cup, uh, many mistakes. I mean, the one I remember is last year when in, uh, in the match they had a with all cast, not in the final, but uh, just uh, in the pre round. Um, they did a mistake and Orgas achieved the one goal, but otherwise um, their game is close to perfect that what I've seen in any other uh, team. So, um, and it's impressive. They are so consistent since the we last 10 years. We have a I Bamberg mean, player, it looks like a Bamberg player warming, warming up, up in the pool. Um, thank you Omar for thanking us for doing our job here. It's a great pleasure to uh, work here at the uh, Champions Cup uh, 2016 together with the team and uh, the techies and Winne, uh, Jörg and Lorena. It's a pleasure to work here. Um, yeah, thank you, Clicks. Uh, I believe you this was what uh, Molde is working for. Uh, they just have to be there and it, that's what it's looked like. It's just... Uh, I mean uh, they really... Uh uh, and put and uh, the tactic into practice with uh, a flawless. Yes, that's so uh, it's, um, it's really nice to watch. Impressive. It's, it's very impressive. And uh, we've seen uh, uh, games uh, Molde against the Orcas, where the Orcas were uh, uh, quite good in controlling the game uh, of Molde. Yeah, but they don't have the physical um, power that Molde brings m into the water. I mean, I don't know. There's always a little bit more. That the Molde players. Uh hey Gustavo, if you want a European girlfriend, you have to work for it. Smile a lot. Just, uh, just uh, like that. I say that like that, <laughs> and buy flowers, a lot of flowers. All right. Good luck with that. So we are uh, getting close uh, on the um, second half. Uh, of the finals here in the Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. Uh, the biggest uh, uh, tournament in underwater rugby. Uh, next to me, the commentator is Lorena, uh, world champion from Cali with the German women's team. On my right is uh, Jörg, her coach, uh, of the coach of the German national women's team. And uh, Lorena and we play for the local uh, uh, sports club Sporthaucher. And we are both underwater rugby coaches and referees. And uh, it's a pleasure for us uh, to, uh, to be your commentators in these last three days. Uh, we're always looking forward uh, to this event. It's one of the highlights uh, of the year. So here we go. Uh, the game starts again. Uh, Molde against Bamberg, second half. Already a Molde player stole the defense of uh, Bamberg. And uh, let's see if Molde, if uh, Bamberg can turn the game around. I'm, I'm so impressed about uh, more the game. It's, <coughs> it's physical, the passes, it's like... I like your voice. Real it's, 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 it's so... It's look, so look, like, like he, the, the position on the goal. It's, per it's, uh, it's, it's almost uh, perfect. Uh, and how he get the ball. And I, I'm, I'm jealous about such... such yes, really skills, perfection. Yes. Yeah. Perfection of skills we see here. It's, uh, so uh, but, uh, um, I like that the, the attitude of the, the Bamberg players. Uh, they they start to to uh, play the game fast, uh, not to be under pressure, and that looks very good in the first Yeah, they Bamberg does a hell of a job uh, here. Uh, but uh, it's it's 
unfortunate when they're coming too close to the goal. It's uh, it's almost a dumb case if you let yeah. them uh, let them stay in the vicinity like this. They come in on the, on the goal. They just turn around, throw the ball in, and there's another uh, Molde player waiting there. It's uh, it's 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 amazing. Um, it's not like that they are everywhere, but they are in the right place. That's that's uh, 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 the the secret of what it looks like. And now we have another Molde player coming from above uh, the Bamba goalkeeper, and uh, they're pushing hard. And uh, from what we know, um, um, in in the first half, if uh, Molde is allowed to put pressure on the basket they uh, score but now we have a breakthrough from Bamberg and uh, they made it uh, without a, um, made it through the pressure from Molde without a goal and now attacking uh, Molde basket by themselves and this goal oh! from Bamberg wow Sorry, I had to spring. very good guys come on congratulations to Bamberg yeah, this, is, this is really go. impressive Impressive here. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm losing my voice. Thank you, Jörg. <laughs> Good job. I mean, I want to make clear excellent. we are not the games of wow. the game, but, you know, That is, uh, that is uh, the I'm thing what, uh, what uh, the, the game needs. and uh, Yeah, what, what Bamberg definitely and needs. And that was great, great, great. job. So that shows uh, the big capability yes. of uh, Bamberg. Yes, I, uh, I wouldn't uh, have uh, thought uh, they, they can pull it out of, the, of their, their heads. Uh, yeah, to, to exactly, score. because they have uh, the fans yes. of Molde, you know, following them. But uh, now we see Molde getting uh, in high gear. and uh, Yeah, Molde is like very angry about it right now. Yeah, <laughs> they can see it. I think uh, 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 scoring against Molde makes them not very angry, but puts them in a, in in a, a special in a state show, of, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, this, if we get one goal, we have to make at least two to make it right. It's, it's like, how do you dare? Now we're going to yes, show you. Yes, how do you dare mm -hmm. is the word. Here we go on the, on the that was pushing <coughs> without ball uh, from the open okay. side. Uh, free throw against Molde. Very impressive, very well oh, done, Bamberg. Uh, congratulations uh, for this goal. This was uh, after a, a pressure uh, part from uh, Molde against Bamberg basket, breaking free, going in, making uh, pressure on the Molde basket and going in from the close side and scoring. Very well done, 2-1 here in the second half on the last game of Champions Cup 2016. Wow. So, Molde in counter-attack and uh, Bamber trying to keep up and, and trying to score the second goal uh, so that they can put it at least uh, equal again. And uh, they're doing a great job defending, but Molde is coming like, from every corner. It's like the most it's, it's amazing. You have, the feeling you have 10 players and not just six in the water. Um, we have Bamber uh, going up and, and having a a counter-attack with three Molde players are already in front of him. I mean... Um so, just imagine, just imagine Bamberg scoring again and uh, winning this game against Molde. That would be uh, 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 very impressive and uh, uh, I give all the, my left energy here to Bamberg. Come on, oh, that go was in. a close one. That was excellent. a very close excellent one. Excellent attack. Yeah. Step, uh, take away the goalkeeper. Very uh, well played nice by Bamberg. Uh, excellent game. Uh, pulled it's away the goalkeeper and almost uh, pushed the ball uh, in the gap, uh, opening up. So uh, Bamberg is really doing yeah, a good job Bamberg putting Bamberg the ball like under yeah. pressure now. Yeah. They're yeah. coming from great, above. From above. Great, great, you see the great. hard body work coming in. And uh, Molly really yeah. has to work. In and time. the change of the, the goalkeepers is fast and uh, concentrated. And uh, Bamberg really uh, is, is like they... they, they they reinvented uh, the game for themselves yeah, they within changed. the second half. It's uh, in incredible. Uh, they changed from this uh, high-speed uh, 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 ball controlling into aggressive uh, uh, attacking style on the basket. And that's what it needs. Uh, it showed from the last goal they, they scored. That's what it needs to score against Molde. And uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed what we see here. And I think this score gave really um, Bamberg the edge, the push yes. uh, that may were m missing now in the first in the first one, in the first half. And uh, But they need to play it uh, clever and they need to stay put and, and have 
possession of the ball because uh, Molde is so so we go. dangerous. We have an oh, was that ball got lost? Oh, oh what? Uh, that was on the open side, but, but uh, well, that was very good. Almost oh, on the open side, the uh, player was pushing against the Molde goalkeeper, but tackled away from a uh, Molde player, but there was a big chance and uh, there was a uh, fought for, there was not luck, there was fought for the open and uh, Bamberg is really uh, controlling the ball here around the basket of Molde and uh, Molde has to be careful because... Uh, um, no, they stole the basket, they there's stole the basket one from German, uh, from, uh, I don't know where the ball is, uh, hopefully he can stay there for a little while, but Molde is doing everything they can. The Bamberg <laughs> player has the ball, but uh, the um, goal from all the recover the position before the uh, Bamber player could arrive the, the and now they have a counter-attack and yeah, this, is, this, this is, is what they have here what they, we know. they got it um, because we know Molde, if they go in, in attack mode, it's uh, all so difficult to stop them. And uh, Bamberg did such a good job to put Molde under pressure, but it uh, will I not think help Molde them. Didn't expect it, yeah. Yeah, but it will not help them if Molde is allowed to score again. Uh, with a 2 1, uh, Bamberg is. Uh, uh, they almost lost the ball. I mean, come on. That was. Um, is, is able to they equalize. They have to have another. They don't have a position to, to play. And this is this is the critical point. I mean, they need to have always a. Come now on, guys! Come on, Bamberg! Mano. Whoa! This is Molde going now in the in the defense, but uh, Bamberg managed it's to a steal the ball. Great job defending! Incredible! Here we go! Counter attack from, from Bamberg. Bamberg! Just one I mean player there. It takes a little bit too long for his teammates to go up, and they're on the surface, which is a dangerous uh, point uh, above uh, the Molde basket. Uh, if they can get uh, f the ball free and start attack again. Uh, incredible what they're doing here. One of the Molde players lost his fin. It was the goalkeeper, I think. Um, this is quite uh, difficult uh, with the fiberglass fin, if you have your own fiberglass fins. But Molde is now in ball position in the middle of the pool. And uh, we have six, minu six minutes, uh, 47 left. And uh, this is now a physical game, exhausting game. And the Molde is coming in one uh, on oh, uh, the two ball got lost the ball. just next to the basket and the defender didn't see it and this this kind of little mistake is what make you the see the push uh, more the players have if they go uh, into the the scoring mode and try to push up the goal the the opponent goalkeeper uh, impressive here another more the player going in on the defense two against under the three defense. against two this is uh, really dangerous uh, for Bamberg. Yeah, five five minutes ago. Uh, um Contra attack of Bamberg. Contra attack of Bamberg. He is alone with three Molde players, four Molde players, and no Bamberg underwater. I mean, this is the moment where they have to have bite the snorkel uh, and the just surface. dive. And you see, Bamberg is uh, probably getting tired and worn out. They are on the surface now, uh, preparing their attack on the Molde basket, but. Uh, the, the, the push they had uh, on the attacks before is uh, lacking now. Uh, no wonder because they had an uh, exhausting game uh, and they scored against Molde. But a 2-1 is enough for Molde to win this game. We have five minutes left. We and have uh, almost 600 people watching this final. This is uh, one of the next to the Orca and Ege games, one of the best games we've seen here. Very intense, and uh, uh, it really surprised me. Bamberg did in the, what did Bamberg? Yeah, they turn the around second the half. second half. Yes, they and have still five minutes. Uh, w we see uh, Bamberg almost equal now uh, to the to the game, and they push really hard in the basket of uh, uh, Molde. But, but Molde, uh, it's in a counter attack. Counter attack. For checking, stopped. Oh, great for checking. The Bamberger does recover the ball, and now they have a counter attack from Bamberg. It was a great job, but uh, everyone else is just getting some air. <laughs> Uh, uh, the the four checker who recovered the ball was all alone. We have, and one now we have one player coming from the close side into the Molde basket. The ball fell down, but the Bamberger just recovered it. Would call happen. from the referees. <sighs> Free throw against that's Bamberg. That's such a pity. Oh, that's hard. By the way, Nico Rosberg is Formula One world champion. The I don't video know what you're what talking do you mean about. The video <laughs> <laughs> Time out, uh, I think, for Bamberg uh, because. Uh, uh, this is the moment they have to uh, re recover and you see they they are under pressure and they are tired and they showed uh, I am under pressure. Uh, yeah, like I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> and uh, This is just uh, 
Uh, Bamberg knows they need at least to score one to go in the penalties, but they don't want to oh. go in penalties with Moll. They, they want to uh, win this game, so they would have to score two times within uh, the next five minutes. And uh, this is uh, very, very demanding and almost... No, I wouldn't say impossible. Impossible is nothing, uh, and Bamberg showed they can turn around the, the game. But... Uh, um, they are not alone in the pool, and uh, Bamberg knows exactly what is going to happen now. And uh, let's see what we have. So it's a, a free throw for Molde, and already a Molde player uh, at the basket of Bamberg. And he's taking his space, uh, sitting in front of the um, basket. And uh, this, is, uh, this is really a, a, a thriller. Four minutes left. Now this is getting uh, tougher and tougher for Bamberg um, to score uh, because uh, Molde has an easy job controlling the ball now and uh, trying to score oh. themselves and holding the ball. Uh, very difficult situation for Bamberg. Um, they did quite well, but they have to do better to win this game. And they only have uh, less than four minutes left uh, to go to steal the ball away from Molde, go and counter attack and score. Uh, and to at least Molde, equalize. Molde is playing that, you know, just playing the ball, keeping the possession. They don't need to get into the stress again. And they're, they're in the corner like Akaren was doing the same, hmm? killing the time. And I'm <laughs> like, oh, come on. Bamber, you need to go. And from the, I mean, the, the problem is if they get out of the defensive mode, then Molde comes and attack. Um, but they cannot, they don't have enough time. It's just three more minutes, so they can't play this safe. They need to go and record the ball um, if they want to really change history. <laughs> yes, uh, that would uh, change, uh, reload uh, the history of the Champions Cup because uh, uh, Molde has been the dominant team on the Champions Cup for the last, uh, I don't know how many ten times, years. 10 years. Mm. 10 years is quite a long time. Uh, for them and uh, Bamberg is playing the Champions Cup I think as long as uh, uh, Molde is and uh, two and a half minutes still still possible we have seen scores uh, nine minutes before uh, two seconds sorry nine, nine seconds or two seconds before the end of the game so still but not like this not if Molde is in the corner recovering uh, just passing the ball possibly just just, just to keep the, the clock ticking the problem is uh, um, if you open up too much to, I know. to then they score, uh, then another, they, score. they are always over. ready to score and now they are playing itself because uh, they they are uh, uh, leading one uh, two zero two one and uh, they don't have to hurry so uh, if Bamberg throws everything at them they are opening probably up too much and uh, the Bam uh, Molde scores but if they stay in the defense mode they will not be able to steal the ball and counter attack uh, and score against Molde this is a difficult point in the game for Bamberg and I uh, don't see them uh, uh, um, having a solution for the problem Um, yeah, Oystein, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the game, that the uh, speed of the game uh, is uh, One slowing minute down. And, a half and that's, uh, and that's, uh, that's exactly what uh, Molde wants. They, do, they are not in a hurry. They, uh, they are leading this game and uh, the, the clock is ticking in their favor. And uh, it's very, very difficult now for Bamberg to break free. Uh, of this uh, 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 clever play of Molde. Look here, he's just waiting with the ball. But Molde is a little bit too passive. They know that they have the time. They're just the defender underneath right now, the last few minutes because. Uh, here okay. we go. This okay, is the chance for Bamberg with the corner uh, right, He didn't right. see his play, but yeah. now we go. And the second Bamberg player is coming oh, in from the open side. Um, this would probably be a chance, but the second wave takes quite long to come in. Here we go, second wave from the close side, oh, but they, they lost the ball to the Molde player from in the defense. So 30 seconds left in this uh, last game here, Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. And, uh, well, uh, Bamberg did really, really have a great game. 20 seconds left for them uh, to equalize and go in penalties with uh, Molde. Uh, maybe they have another rabbit in the head so they can pull out a magical trick they can do. But uh, eight seconds, six, five, four, three, 
one zero. Here we go. So this was the last game of Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. Molde is uh, best club of the world in underwater rugby again. Again. <laughs> So uh, no change here. Second place uh, is uh, Bamberg. Bamberg. Third, the Orcas, and uh, fourth. Congratulations to Molde. Um, yeah, and, and to Bamberg for a to great to game. Bamberg. Yeah. Bamberg amazing, really amazing game. And so absolutely very very impressive. In the moment uh, they I scored, think we, we can really be proud of the German men's underwater rugby. Yes, uh, uh, with, with yes, with Bamberg and March yeah. too is also a great uh, team now playing in the Euroleague. But uh, what Bamberg showed here was uh, well done. It yeah. was uh, mm -hmm. really like. It's a pity uh, that they couldn't start playing the first game, the yes. first half already like that. But Molde was a better team. This is also has to be said. I mean, Bamberg did a great job, but yeah, uh, I think so too. Molde really used the mistakes from Bamberg uh, more effectively, and uh, well, they're the. Congratulations to Molde. Congratulations to uh, Bamberg, uh, to Akaren, Castores, and all the other teams uh, playing here. Uh, also, especially to Australia, who played here on the Champions Cup for the first time and uh, did quite well. Uh, they are the, the team of the heart. I think uh, they came a long way to play here. Uh, really nice. Thanks a lot to the team of the Champions Cup 2016. Those who sit were sitting at the referee table, the referees themselves. And uh, thanks a lot uh, to uh, uh, Vinne who organized uh, this uh, Champions Cup again, like he did in the last uh, uh, 16 years. Uh, impressive. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to my commentators, uh, Lorena and Jörg. Thank you. Thank for you having me here and allow me to explain a lot of funny things. I sent uh, you the bill uh, in, the, in the next no, days. No, we do the new YouTube channel. <laughs> I will look forward to stories it. Stories with Wolf in New York. <laughs> story time. Stories you can tell your children before they fall asleep. <laughs> or with which they will fall asleep, probably. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, uh, 